Hey guys, it's Jamal from Jamal Pickup, and today we're going to talk about having boundaries as a man. All right, so I want to tell a little story. Um, the best natural that I've met in the game, that I've met that's a successful woman, actually happens to be my uncle. And when I use the term natural, I'm talking about a guy that never really had to learn pickup. He, you know, he had long hair when he, it was like in the 80s, he had long hair. He was part of a band, he did kung fu, he just had like this cool image and all these cool mindsets. And he didn't have to reverse engineer everything and figure out tactics and strategies. It all just flowed naturally. So after you know thousands of experiences with girls, um, as a grown-up adult, he told me some very important principles. So he said, in every male and female interaction, um, one person is kissing the other person's ass. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. In every male and female interaction, one person is kissing the other person's ass. So you never want to be the person that's doing the ass kissing. You want all your girls to be kissing your ass, okay? So what do I mean by that? Um, he gave another analogy. He said, it's your court, right? Your court, your rules all the time. A lot of girls will try to run over to their court and play by their rules, which means like they're trying to call the shots. They're trying to orchestrate how things are going to go, etc., etc. But he said it has to be your court, your rules all the time, right? And the ones that insist on playing by their own rules and, and being on their own court, he lets them go, right? So they can either get in line with his program or they can leave, right? So it, it's a very hard screen. Um, but let me go into, into some more details here. So what does it mean to have boundaries as a man, right? Um, it's basically like lines in the sand that people should not cross. And if they do, there's a consequence, which, you know, depending on how many warnings you want to give them, usually just one stern warning telling them that they crossed the boundary and that it's not okay at all and you're not going to put up with that kind of stuff in the future is enough. That's what I recommend. You give, If someone crosses a serious line, I'll give you some examples. Say... Um, a woman has plans with you for a date and she just doesn't show up and she doesn't text you telling you like she has to cancel she doesn't ask you to reschedule she doesn't let you know what's going on she just disappears right that's not okay that would be an example of a boundary crossed say you bring a girl out to a restaurant and she's touching the waiter and flirting with the waiter and like making eyes with the waiter and all that stuff or you bring her to a nightclub and some guy hits on her and she's touching his chest and like flirting with, with him and allowing him to hold her. These are examples of things you should not allow. And, you know, I'm not going to give you the comprehensive list of what you should and should not allow. But basically, you don't want anyone to disrespect you or fuck with you or like fuck you over, right? So like that's like the general rule. And then you can apply that to any situation. And this should apply like with your relationships with your family, um, with your relationships with your coworkers, even with your guy friends, okay? It's a very important life lesson here is that you need to have these strict lines, okay? Because no one, no one respects a man that is a pushover, all right? Like, you need to get that through your mind. Like, a lot of people think that it's better to, like, avoid a conflict or, like, not stir the pot or whatever by... Um, letting people abuse these boundaries, letting people walk all over you, allowing this stuff to, to happen. But what's what's really gonna happen is those people are gonna lose respect for you. And that type of behavior is going to increase a lot, right? So when you let a woman disrespect you and you don't call her out on it, or you don't cut her off or threaten to cut her off completely, um, she's gonna say, wow, like this guy doesn't even fucking respect himself. like." He's just a beta guy. He's just a low value guy. She's going to lose respect for you. And then, you know, she's going to go fuck other people behind your back. She's going to um, cross these boundaries more and more. She's going to use you. And it's going to it's going to just fall apart, right? You're just going to be in this mode of being the bitch and it's eventually going to fall apart. So rather than fall into that situation, um, and it's really hard to recover from that situation once you've allowed people to get away with this kind of stuff. Like say you let someone cross a very important boundary 10 times and all of a sudden you're like, okay, enough is enough. Like they're not going to take you seriously because you've been allowing this type of behavior, right? You've, 
you've set the frame and you've set the precedent that you are okay with being disrespected in a certain manner or in these situations, right? So, um, you all need to think about what your lines are, what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate, okay? And when someone crosses that boundary, you need to make it very clear in a very serious way that for one, you are not okay with this type of behavior, this type of shit that they pulled. Um, for two, if it happens again, you will be out of their life, okay? And of course, with, with family members and stuff, like you're not just gonna like cut off your parents or whatever, like instantly, like it's gonna, it's gonna like take a lot of repeated offenses for it to get to that point. But you know, for like new girls you're dating or whatever, like you need to just put firm lines in, and they will respect you for this. And the ones that don't respect you or that, or that wanna like be cunty or like be bitchy or whatever, you don't want those girls in your life anyways. So you need to just have these lines and if they're across, you call them out, you tell them if it happens again, like you, that's it, like they're done, right? Um, I want to tell a really quick story. So like my uncle said, like one of the hottest girls he met, like in his whole journey of meeting women, this girl is a perfect 10. He said it's one of the most beautiful girls he's ever seen in his life. He ended up dating her, right? And she pulled some kind of shit. And I don't, I don't even remember what it was, but she pulled some kind of shit and he just stopped talking to her. And she called and like he wasn't answering. This is before cell phones. So like she was leaving voicemails and shit like that. And a couple weeks went by and he happened to be washing his motorcycle in his driveway, right? And the chick is walking down the street, like comes to his neighborhood. She's walking down the street and he said she, he saw her and like, he didn't like act, he didn't say hi or like act like he saw her. He just like saw her briefly and looked away. And he was like, she was in a little tiny outfit. Like she was all done up. And it was like a perfect looking girl. And she comes up to him and she's like, Steve. And he's like, what? And she's like, where have you been? Like, you haven't been answering my calls. Like we haven't been hanging out, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, I've been busy. And then she's like, you know, I know you've been getting my calls. Like, why are you acting like this? And remember this guys, this is like the speech she told me to memorize. Like this is, this is how you deal with it after you're in the situation of them disrespecting you or crossing a line. He said to her, listen, I thought you were really cool before. I had a really good time with you, but then you went and pulled that bullshit. And I, you know, I lost a bunch of interest and I don't put up with, he said to like say this line verbatim, I'm not some punk who puts up with bullshit, right? So it's what that's doing is like differentiating you from the other guys. And this, this shouldn't be just like, um, what they call like outer game, like a, like a tactic, like, Oh, like when someone does this, I'm going to do this. Like you actually have to like respect yourself as a man and as a person and realize that someone violated you and realize that you don't stand for that. It doesn't matter if she's a 10, like in this example, like he was willing to drop her. Right. So that, like continuing the story, um, he's like, when you call them out and tell them you don't put up a bullshit, almost always they're going to play dumb and act like they don't know what you're talking about. But he said, never engage them into a logical argument because they're just going to twist it around and you're going to lose. So you don't get into the details. He just said, you know what you did. It was bullshit. I don't put up with that kind of shit, even though she was playing dumb about it. And she's like, so that's it. Like, you're not going to talk to me. He's like, listen, like, I don't, I don't deal with that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. And he just kept, he just went back to washing his motorcycle. She's like, fine, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Turns around. So I was walking down the driveway and he, he stopped, he turned and looked, right? And he, and he told me, he's like, dude, like, this is one of the hardest moments of my life. He was like, her ass was like falling out of her skirt or whatever, shorts. I don't remember what she was wearing, but she just looked like so fucking hot. And he like really wanted to bang her and all this shit. But, and this is like a fucking true player moment. He held to his principle, right? Because the reason he got that girl in the first place is because he's a badass because he has boundaries, because he respects himself, because he's a cool dude, because he's a high value dude. He doesn't let people walk all over and push him around. So that's the reason why I got him in the first place and he held true to that. So he was literally willing to let her leave. Like he said, he was like really, really tempted to stop her and have her come back, but he let her walk away. And she walked down the driveway and she walked off and he, he said she stopped like halfway down the road, turned and saw he wasn't chasing after her or calling after her. And she came back up the driveway 
and he ended up like banging around the motorcycle and shit. Like he, I think he was like in his garage or something, and he ended up like banging on the motorcycle. And I was like, what happened after that? And he's like, oh, I dated her a couple months more and got bored and I fucking dropped her. And he was like, ha 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 ha, you know. And it, it's not like it's not like he's like being misogynistic. It's just like he didn't. And he said she was kissing his ass after that. He's like, after you pull, after you call them out, and you make it very clear. He's like, they will either leave and they'll be out of your life and it'll save you a huge fucking headache, or they're gonna just kiss your ass and worship you, okay? But it's not gonna be this repeated pattern of you getting shit all over, right? Because you don't want anyone in your life like that. And he and he's like, dude, I'd rather have like one chick that's like all about me and worshiping me than like twenty of these cunts like trying to play games and stuff like that. And again, I'm not I'm not using cunt in a misogynistic way. I'm just referring to like girl there's plenty of girls out there that just wanna play games and they just wanna power struggle you and always have the upper hand and all this shit, right? So you call them out, you say I'm, I'm not a punk to put some bullshit, you tell them that it's not okay, and they either knock it off or they, they get out of your life. So you're you're drawing a very clear line in the sand. So I, w- I will call girls out when they're playing games over text, like if they're ignoring multiple texts, if they flake on a date, if they disrespect me in any way in public, like flirting with another guy when I'm with them, um, anything of this sort, right? Or if they like put you down or like any, any, of, this, any of this type of stuff, right? Um, and the same goes for uh, friends, coworkers, family members, all that stuff. Um, let me think if there's anything else I wanna say about this. Um, just basically it's it's just really important oh he you know he he said like if you're ever in doubt of like what you should do in a certain situation he's like think about like what would brad pitt do or what would leonardo dicaprio do right and that applies to like every situation brad pitt isn't gonna let some chick like shit all over him and be like hey like is everything cool like can we hang out you know he's gonna like stop talking to that girl right because he doesn't put up that kind of stuff he can get any girl he wants He's a high value man. So you need, you need to really embrace being a high value man and not put up with shitty behavior just because a woman is hot or just because you have good sex with her or whatever. Okay. You need to um, really enforce these things. And remember like either you're going to be kissing her ass or she's going to be kissing your ass. Right. Um, and when, when shit does go down and it, it usually will like where a line is crossed, you have to, he said, you usually just, just disappear. Like you stop answering their calls, you stop answering their texts. And when they start like hitting you up um, multiple times in a short duration, like say they call like twice an hour or something, then you talk to them and you tell them that you don't put up with that kind of stuff and you don't get into the details because you will, you will lose. And I've tried to have these arguments with them where I'm logically explaining to them, you did this and this and this, and they're just gonna twist it all around and blame you and, and you're gonna be fucked, okay? So that's pretty much it for boundaries. A really important principle. Hope you guys learned a lot and thank you for joining. Thanks.